In today's video, we've got a 1969 Datsun 510 with a twist and it's running 400 brake. So uh, I bought my own 400 brake car. Let's see how this goes. Like, share and subscribe. So of course, as you know, it's Datsun day. Meet Sav. Hey! Big Sav in the house. Sav, is, Sav socials are down below. Sav, thank you, man. Uh, no worries, for pleasure. Bring, for bringing huh? this down to us. Yeah, no so, I met Sav, what, what was it, Tosh? A couple of weeks ago? We bumped into Sav at a car meet, and there were loads of old Mercs there and everything, and for some reason, you brought this to that old Merc meet. <laughs> Got to show my stand. <laughs> oh, it stole the show. Um, and then I heard it, and I thought, this one's not normal. <laughs> Sav, I love it, man. Oh, so, it's a 1969. Yep. That's in 510. Yeah, 510 Deluxe. What's the yeah. Deluxe? Uh, so Deluxe came with a few extra interior mods. Um, they made a triple S version as well, which was like a race spec, uh, high performance spec. Okay. Um, it's got the triple S badges, but it's not a proper triple S, but... Fake until you make it, bitches. You'll, you'll find out why soon. Oh, okay, we'll find <laughs> out, sorry. <laughs> okay, sweet. Well, um, in there. <laughs> I love it. The colour, is this factory colour? Uh, no, it's a Porsche colour. So it's uh, Porsche, jet green, metallic. You commissioned this colour? Yep. Nice. I love, you know what it is? A car of this era needs to be in a classic colour. Yeah. It could have been black. It would have been, it would have been fine. It wouldn't have been this. They all came in, uh, the factory colours were quite loud. So when really? this first came, it was like beige, like bright beige colour. What? Um, but there's, yeah, blues, like sky blues. Um, I think there's some orange ones around, yellows. Yeah. For heck? <laughs> well, I, th I personally think you chose the colour of all colours. Sav, so we're looking at the interior of the car right now. Yep. And it's really flipping clean. Tell me what's factory in here and what's not to start with. Because um, th this center console, for example, is that just the way it came? No, so the dash, the set, the, so, so the dash piece over here is uh, a replica of the Triple S dash. Um, when you, is that 3D printed? Uh, it's not, it's made from something else, it's composite. I, there's a, oh, okay. guy, a guy in Australia that makes them. Yeah, uh, I feel like you've sourced many parts from many countries. Yeah, <laughs> lots lot of stuff. Um, the dash, uh, so funny story, I waited about eight months for this to come. Went to fit it in the 69 dash, realized that it only fits the 70 and later model dash. Yeah, mad. Because they have different dash in there. That was about four weeks before my wedding and this car had to be there. <laughs> um, so I did a day trip up to the Lake District and back and grabbed this whole dash from a mate that was parting out of 510. Oh wow, so you didn't make the clocks fit the dash, you bought a new dash to fit the clocks? Yep, to fit this panel, to yeah. To fit that. Yeah, so this is all out of, uh, this This whole dash is out of, uh, I think it was a 71. Uh, wow. A 71 510. Um, this middle section came with this, I got this together. Um, it's got full stack gauges all around, you've got warning lights for MOT if that's ever needed, if they change things. Nice. Um, and like, you plumbed those warning lights in yourself? Or so they... it's a full custom rewire. Wow. Um, off of the Link ECU. Uh, and then basically these are all just aftermarket switches. These two are original. Um, but on the 71 plus dash, they used to go in here. Um, Mad. But we've just put them down here just for ease, made the center panel as easy to get to. Um, we use this 4D stretch stuff that comes off eBay just all around the interior. Um, Honestly, got... the amount of custom is that you've already mentioned without even getting into the engine. Oh, uh, like, yeah, yeah. This is it's nuts. It's just like, uh, yeah, the mats come from the US, from a guy that does Datsun. The carpet kit came from there as well. Um, headliner kit, uh, brand new. And then everywhere where you should have seen other panels, we've just tried to use the 4D stretch to cover up bits and pieces like these panels in here, you'll see, like just give it that black look interior. Love that yeah. mesh on the on the headrest. Yeah, so the Recaro fishnet, um, the idea was that when you sit in the back, you still got a view through. Oh, all right. Like, yeah, you, fair you enough. Get, you get little, you get the light coming through. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's a well, little yeah, look. Yeah. And when you're in the front of the car, you can see if there's no one in the car, you can see through into the back. Mind you, saying that, is anyone going to fit in the back? Uh, let's, I don't know, yeah. Let's have it. <laughs> Actually, that's not too bad, is it? Yeah, so on, it on the wedding day, we had three people in here. Um, I've had four before, but it's a bit of a push behind me. <laughs> um, but yeah, a guy down in Uxbridge done all the back seats for me. 
Uh, Custom sport. bench or uh, no, factory that's, bench that's, retrimmed? Yeah, retrimmed stock bench, factory bench. Love it. Um, we've got yeah cutouts for the seat belts that need to go in at some point. Want to put three point seat belts in the back? But legally, it doesn't need them at the minute. Uh, it didn't need. They didn't come as. It didn't come, so then you don't, don't need to retrofit. It, yeah. Wow. What's uh, that out of? So that's just literally eBay. Uh, that looks like a, like a Seat something. Yeah, it's just aftermarket plastic ones. I know people that have put uh, S15 vents in, so yeah, it's got a bit of chrome trim on it. I just wanted to go for the black look interior, but. Um, it's got a heater matrix all plumbed in. There's a hot and cold valve. Um, no, I love it. They used to be outside vents. So they had like a little flick switch underneath and they'd be outside vented. But we've just replumbed it all to the heater box. So it does um, windscreen and, and those two. So yeah. It's a proper resto mod. Yeah, it's got a heated windscreen. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. It's got a heated windscreen. Yeah. I remember you saying, so this is a custom run of heated windscreens for this That's mark. it, yeah. There's a few guys that have five set five tens in the UK. Um, one of the guys, I think it was Ricky, that might have got it made up. Um, How yeah. can something be rarer than a Datsun 510 heated windscreen? Yes. <laughs> like, to, to get your hands on that. It's just all, awesome. the, all the parts for this, yes. Yeah, um, little Nismo shift knob. You no, know, everything is it. just... This is just custom. What's e that switch down there? High boost. Really? <laughs> yeah, high low Come boost. Come on! High low boost. We're living fast and furious at it. Yeah. Um, I mean, we haven't even discussed the engine at this point. Yeah. Because the engine <laughs> in this thing <laughs> is something else. What made you go for an SR20 engine? Uh, oh my God. Wanted it to go fast. And it goes. I did not expect that. That was on low boost. Oh yeah, we're running low boost as well. <laughs> so you went for the SR20 engine and you put what brakes on it? Uh, it's got Wilwood, Wilwood brakes uh, from T3 um, out of the US. They do a brake kit. You know what? A lot of this is me learning about the world of resto mods because my insight into resto mods is pretty much my 911. Yeah. And that's not even a resto mod, that's just bringing like, a few engine modifications and bigger turbo. Um, but none of the creature comforts and none of the real whole build have been looked at. Whereas this is a complete build, full on resto mod, from sound deadening to running gear to drivetrain to everything. Yeah, yeah, it's got... Um Love it. Prop. It's got a Subaru one, R180 diff. Um, it's just awesome. And it's nice and clean. I love a car that's clean. Yeah, shout Firstly, out. Firstly, shout out Detail Kings. Sorry, shout out. Shout out to my wife for hoovering the car yesterday. So Detail Kings. <laughs> shout out to the wife for hoovering the car. I love that. <laughs> Stop. This is your moment to follow Detail Kings. Socials are down below. Detail Kings are automotive specialists in everything to do with aesthetics. Wrapping, tinting, PPF, ceramic coating, calipers, wheels, you name it, these guys do it. Big sponsors of the channel, and if it wasn't for them, this wouldn't be possible. Give them some love. That's also amazing. But wife, just know he's now sponsored by Detail Kings. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> Is that me? Oh, no, that one sec, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, I'm thinking. I found this. I found you a pair, but they're like thirty-five pounds. Oh no, leave it, Dory. I'll sort it out. Yeah. It online. Yeah, Is yeah. That all right? Yeah, I'm just in the middle of something, so I'll give you a shout when I get home. Okay. All right. I'll see all you right, when thanks. you get home. Bye. Right, bye. Bye. Yo, voice quality was great. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. There's so much attention to detail on it. So all the speakers, everything runs off the amp. So it's... Oh, okay. So you put amp in here as well. Yeah, it's not just in the boot as well. Yeah. Yeah, get one. <laughs> High boost is running. How much brake? 381. His 381 bhp in a Datsun. Oh yes! Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> sell this as a half decent one. It's not one of those situations. 
I've been F. This has been Sav. This has been one of the greatest experiences of my life. Thanks for coming on, man. Thank awesome, you man. so I'll much. Any time, we'll do it again. You're going to be back on the channel. Yeah. We're going to come on a drier day, warmer day, and we're going to do a bit more of a madness. But for now, like, share, subscribe. Sav's socials are down below. <sighs>